Hello my friends, this is Wolfgang with Tools for Ascension and this time I will be sharing so-called mystical experiences. This is the stuff that uh, normally is only shared among God brothers or in intimate circles, uh, but uh, these times uh, pressing uh, a lot of rules have been broken regarding teaching the public and um, so my inner guidance has been bugging me a long time to share these things that I have told uh, very few people before. So uh, you will be hearing a lot of far out stuff. Um, it's <laughs> not ghost stories. Uh, I think it's way beyond that. And um, please don't judge. Um, use me as a truth meter, as a sounding board, so to say. Uh, I think personally that uh, listening to stories like this uh, will raise the vibration. It will expand your awareness. Um, and probably things like this have happened to you too, but you may not have seen the significance or just pushed it out of your subconscious, out, out of your conscious into your subconscious. And um, so I, I think if you're attracted to this, uh, there will be some information that will be very useful for you. So enjoy. <laughs> The following story is as close as it gets to a ghost story, <laughs> as it will, but it is not about ghosts, but it's super spooky. So I was staying in the guest room of this uh, ashram, which was situated in an old French pleasure castle, and um, so I'm in the middle of a dream and uh, this dream turned into a nightmare and the nightmare was around the theme of probably the most scary horror movie I've had experienced and that was uh, from Roman Polanski who is heavily alleged of uh, being on the dark side. Uh, and uh, it was called The Window, but that was a German title. And it has to do with Egyptian magic. Anyhow, so in the dream, uh, I'm kind of in this movie theme, and I realize <laughs> in the dream uh, which, is, which is a very clear, vivid dream, uh, that I most likely am being manipulated and um, I go to semi-consciousness and, you know, open my eyes and at the foot end of my bed I see the silhouette of a monk standing there with his arms crossed and you do not see any face just this uh, monk hood outline and a very sinister energy is coming from him so i know i'm under attack here and i tell him you know just mentally just i tell him just buzz off <laughs> kind of arrogant you know guy stays there said, you know, leave, guy stays there. And then so I invoke uh, extremely fierce, protective Hindu god. You know, it's kind of the razor in my shoe <laughs> I keep for emergencies. And boop, disappears. So many, many years later, I'm reading a book um, from somebody, actually a couple, she, um, let's say, doesn't really matter, you know, one of the uh, partners is clairvoyant, the other one is 
uh, clear sentient, I mean basically uh, gets information from an angel. So the clear one, one, you know, sees one of those monks where you don't see the face and asks the angelic force, you know, what it is, and it's being told that this is a class of angel that fell and because they were abusing their mental abilities uh, too much, um, the mental plane was taken away from them and by higher powers they keep things in balance and that's why you know the holographic projection is um, you know like this monk's rope you know without a head in there you know the, no head means no mental plane that's the symbol symbolism for that and so in retrospect I have to say that this entity um, was after a luge. This means uh, fear energy, uh, panic, uh, etc. Um, that you know you give off when you experience a nightmare. And uh, for them it is nectar or called luge. You know the stuff they need to live. Uh, the, you know for them we are on the astral plane we are like cows that they milk for energy like we milk cows and drink their milk they milk humans and uh, milk basically our fear our hate our greed you know the negative emotions that's what they harvest and telepathically they you know affect our dreams can affect our dreams like to give us nightmares i'm not saying that every nightmare is uh, negative entity induced uh, it could be just also uh, you know stemming from inner conflict but some of them are and uh, you may learn how to discriminate I hope this was helpful Namaste